Hey guys, this is Coral and welcome to Promo Look At. These are basically videos that I do for tabletop gaming. And without further ado, today's promo we're looking at is for Pokemon, a trading card game. And the promo we're going to be looking at, which is right here, here's the cover of, oh, well, the cover. <laughs> here's the back of the card. And the promo we're looking at today is Arcanine. And this Arcanine is the prom, uh, Wizards promo for, for the coast. So he's actually a stage one. He evolves from Growlithe, put Arcanine on the basic Pokemon. So all you would do is, oh, if I had a card here, I'll, I'll use my clank. If this was Growlithe, you would just put Arcanine right on top of it. So that's basically how you evolve Pokemon. But it, after the, the first turn, it's there unless other cards say it. Arcanine, uh, 70 HP, and he's a fire type Pokemon. Now the picture actually looks pretty cool. It looks like... Since he has a move right here called Quick Attack, that's what it looks like. He's flashing through this. So you see a flash of light here and uh, the flames are going around him. Um, well, actually, you could say his aura or how quick he's moving. So I actually like the picture. It looks very cool. Uh, right here, it says Legendary Pokemon Length. Uh, 6 feet, 3 inches, weighs around 342 pounds. And it, the, the promo star is right there with the rainbow promo. Now, I will say one thing. He is a heavy dude. I don't think I will be able to pick him up. For 342 pounds, that's a big heavy dude. He's 6 feet, 3 inches. So, I will say he's around that big. Because I'm 5'7". So, yeah, he'll probably be like around that big. So, I can actually ride this Pokemon. That makes me actually very, very happy to know that I can go on the top of this Pokemon and just ride it because there are some Pokemon you look at and you're like, well, they should be bigger. No, and they're actually smaller. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if you guys remember from my other videos, and uh, once you see colorless uh, symbols, it means you can use any type of energy. So I can use two water energies. doesn't matter if he's a, a fire type. So his, uh, to use this move called Quick Attack, it says flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 10 damage plus 20 more damage. If tails, this attack does 10 damage. I know it says 10 plus there, but it's 10 plus 20 if you get heads. If you get tails, you're only doing the 10 damage. So it's not uh, in there, you, it's not 10 plus 10. So it's just 10. Just clarifying that because I almost got confused with that uh, when I was reading this. Uh, his next move, actually, you need two fire energies. There's no way around this unless you use special energies. But uh, Flames of Rage. This card, two fire energies cards attached to Arcanine in order to use this attack. This attack does 40 damage plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on Arcanine. So you need to have damage in order to use his attack. So the most I can see him doing just by looking at just this card is 100 damage. So it'll be 40 plus 60 because he has 70 HP. So if he had the 70... Uh, 70 hits, I mean the 7th hit, he would be dead, but if he was surviving with just 6 damage counters, that would be a, da uh, a damage of 100. So that's pretty, pretty good. Um, thinking about how if, we were, if I were to run it in a deck with Charizard, uh, you have 2 Pokemon doing 100 damage, so not bad. Um, his weakness is water, so he'll take 2 times the damage for that. His res he has no resistance, his retreat cost is 1 colorless, so it can be any energy to retreat him. The next is his little uh, dexterity, uh, yeah, the Pokedex dexter uh, <laughs> di dictionary, I should say. Uh, a legendary Pokemon famous for its beauty. It looks almost as it flies when it runs. Level 34 at uh, number 59 out of 151 from back in the day. Um, wow. I would think Ninetales would be the most beautiful one for beauty when it comes to uh, the fire types. But if they're saying he's b famous for its beauty, then okay, Arcanine, <laughs> I'll give you a thumbs up. <laughs> I didn't think he would be the beautiful one, but cool. And then when it runs, it looks like it's flying. That's pretty awesome. I guess that explains the Jesus over here in the side and then the flames just passing by. So pretty cool. Uh, the illustration is by Ken Shigamori, who actually made... Uh, pretty much all, all, almost all the promos for um, the movies. I know I said in my past videos that he was making all of them. But no, he, he, uh, Kenji was the first for the Pikachu. And then uh, the movie ones were made with uh, Ken except for the Dragonite. And lastly, uh, at 95, 96, 98, Nintendo Creatures Game Freak 99 2000's Wizards of the Coast promo number 6. So... That's basically all the information you guys will get from this card. Now, 
uh, how was he available? Well, he was available in Japan. He was actually a deal with Toyota. Toyota will, will give you a folder with a Pikachu and an Arcanine. I'm not too sure if you went over there and just purchased the, uh, the cards or you had to buy a card, but it was just a, basically a deal between Toyota and, and Game Freak or Pokemon or Nintendo. I'm not too sure how that worked, but that's how that card became available. From what I found out, the, the card actually went up in price like a lot. So when it got reprinted again by um, the best songs of Pokemon, uh, CD collection uh, it actually made the promo actually drop in price in Japan um, so it, that's how basically he he had his two reprints uh, one was for Toyota and then the best of Pokemon song CD and he came and then um, he was one of the promo selected for the CD in uh, the Toyota one it was him and Pikachu uh, as a um, as a combo so that's how he came in America we actually got him through tournaments uh, so if you guys were playing in the Pokemon or uh, the card game tournaments, uh, that's how he Arcanine became available. Now, would I recommend using him now in the metagame? No. Um, now in the metagame with guys with 200 something HP, I mean Arcanine will just get really fast. Uh, he, he'll, he'll get run over pretty quickly. So I wouldn't recommend them in the metagame now. For me personally, like this is say with, with the third generation with the uh, e, uh, the e-reader cards i kind of would still kind of consider him there for a little bit but i would think there are other better pokemon fire types i should say uh that are better than him uh with mccargo with smooth over um you don't really need damage to him for him to just do 50 automatically uh, and he actually puts a card on top of your deck so i would think that pokemon bar would be good um there's also camera up with split bomb from the axis head i will kind of use him more there's also the emerald camera up yet uh ex um which is very very good and he does a little more damage than that just by discarding cards but with him you just need to have the damage so he'll get killed right off the bat if he does that 100 damage the next pokemon comes in is going to kill him so um i would not recommend them for the meta game right now for collectors <laughs> i do recommend getting him for the collectors uh, if, if you want to get him, he's not that pricey. He goes around two to five dollars depending on where you're purchasing him from. So, uh, I don't think he's that expensive. The good news is for those of you guys who like to sleeve your cards, he does fit in sleeves for standard Pokemon and Magic the Gathering. So, there he is in a sleeve, so he does fit in it now. Um, it's up to you guys to tell me whether you recommend getting him or not. Um, would you rather uh, use him in, in any decks uh, in the current metagame? Would you or would you just use him just to have, have fun playing a game with somebody? Let me know in the comments below. But for me to recommend them for the metagame, I will say no. Uh, what I, I will also say that I will um, consider him better off more playing um, for collectors, yes. But um, not for, um, for, for playing with him at the, uh, the current metagame but let me know in the comments below but with that being said i got a special thanks for you guys for watching and i'll see you guys 